what they did in the previous game. What, what they gotta do? What they do last game? <laughs> well, and that's not ever something you take for granted. I bet. That's it, right? Yeah. They're only on the rise. I think people are, are finally starting to realize how. So what the bench do to that game? Somebody that grew up like loving women's athletics, whether it was soccer, whether it was basketball. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Charge the Game podcast. And uh, man, oh man, if this isn't proof that the WNBA needs Caitlin Clark to sell, I don't know what more. This video was sent to me uh, for me to react to. Um, and this is from the Hodge Twins. I love the Hodge Twins, guys. I follow them. I've been following them for a while all through college. I love their fitness journey and the, the people and the way that they've transitioned into podcasts has been nothing short of remarkable. Obviously, great minds think alike. You know what I'm saying? If you guys know, you know. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into this video, guys. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and sharing the videos, guys, because this helps me a lot. And we're going to talk about this, man, because this is just straight up facts on the differences between, you know, media trained Caitlin Clark and uh, not so media trained women around the league. You guys check this shit out, man. So this looks like one of Chicago's finest. If I read that correctly in the background, it's a little blurry. Looks like it says Chicago. Or is this? Yep, Chicago. <sighs> I should have known what type of video this was going to be when I saw these damn baby edges or baby hair. But just check out the attitude. Check out the attitude and just check out the demeanor. Talk about what they need to do going forward. It's hell up. So basically, he's asking her, you know, off this loss, what does the bench need to do going forward to to be better? And uh, this she, she clearly just I don't know, man, if she's high, I don't know. If she's just not listening. I don't know. if She's, you know, incompetent, incapable, whatever you want to describe it, man. But he just asked a simple question. And this is how she's going to act. In this game here, you do a lot of production. What do you have to do next in the next few games to help you as most likely get to the next level? What does the bench have to do? Yes. Man. What did you... <laughs> I was saying that the bench, they give a lot of production today in this game here. What are they going to do to help you all out as, the, as what they did in the previous game? What, what they got to do? What they do last game? <laughs> She is mad because she don't know how to answer a question properly. This is what happens, guys, when you just go to school for sports, man. You skip over the, the freaking education. You skip over how to properly conduct a healthy interview, a healthy debate, and just straight up common sense, man. But I'm going to get deep on this, guys. Just Let's just keep watching. Question? You for real? No, one asked is just really trying to get an idea of what they need to do. So what the bench do the last game? Now you see this type of energy, this type of aura, and this is what makes me mad about, I hate to say it guys, but obviously I'm going to be thoroughly honest because I don't give a shit. This is what makes me mad about the black community. This woman here, yes, she's a little masculine. She has very masculine energy, but she isn't unattractive okay a beautiful woman with this type of attitude right how is this marketable so when i'm making these caitlin clark videos you guys are getting mad because it's a black man just looking at it through the lens of you know fairness righteousness right versus wrong y'all want me to get behind this and uh here is the problem a lot of people get behind this to condone this this is a, this is supposed to be a representation of black women and you guys get mad at the stereotype or people who look at black women, even if it's a good black woman. All my sisters out there who are great black women, sometimes another race to see you and just think about this and don't want nothing to do with you. Don't, know, don't want nothing to do with you. But this is what we're supposed to get behind and support. It's so crazy the things that we fool ourselves into supporting or making okay when I do believe there are stand-up minorities who would not raise their kids to act like this. I don't care where you come from, how you were brought up. Trust me, I'm, I'm, I wasn't born in the suburbs. Trust me, I had it tough. I had a very, very hard life. That's neither here nor there, but I learned how to conduct myself in a manner that will put me in situations, put me in rooms with people, high-power people, 
that have things in life that I want, but I would not act like this. I don't have to act like a product of my environment. And the reason I'm making this video is to bring light to that, not only to that, but also to the fact that this is why the WNBA is heads over heels about Caitlin Clark, because this is simply not marketable. How can you expect an endorser to get behind you, pay you big money like a Nike charter jet companies? How could you expect them to get behind you when you talk like this? And this sounds like this was a brother asking her a question. She is disrespecting. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to play it again. So just really trying to get an idea of what they need to do. So what the bench do to the next game? Play what? Play what? Bench. So what, they, what they do to this game? What does the bench have to do? Yes. Man. What did you... <laughs> I was saying that the bench, they give a lot of production today in this game here. Or they got... That's her brother talking to her. And look how she doing her own kind. But let... It's okay for her... To disrespect a brother, I trust me, I know a black voice when I hear it. It's okay for a sister to disrespect a brother and the media not say nothing about it. YouTube don't say nothing about it. The social media don't say nothing about it. But let a black guy like myself cover someone like Caitlin Clark just because I just appreciate how she conducts herself, then that makes me wrong. That makes all of the sisters mad at me. Some of these simp ass brothers mad at me. Who gives a shit? I don't care because I'm never going to get behind stuff like this straight up. Now, let me show you why the WNBA needs a Caitlin Clark. I was somebody that grew up like loving women's athletics, whether it was soccer, whether it was basketball, whether, you know, whatever it was. Um, I always had it on. I always wanted to support it. So um, I think it just shows when given an opportunity, like women's sports are certain. Just look at this. See, I went to college. A lot of y'all uh, don't know what I do for a living, but I will disclose. I am an engineer. That doesn't make me better than a lot of people, but I will, I came from nothing, okay? I came from nothing, did eight years in the military, got my life together. I have two, got two engineering degrees, right? I've uh, done a lot of aerospace work, but this right here lets me know because as an engineer, you have to give a detailed explanation. The chick before gave one word, attitude, because people get mad when they don't know how to articulate or answer a question in a detailed way like Caitlin Clark. I can imagine this was one question and I had to pause to interrupt because she's she's giving an essay response. For those who don't know what an essay answer is, it's a detailed answer on how and why you are providing your answer. It's detailed. It's an essay pretty much from start to finish. And it sounds like that's what she's doing. Let's keep going. Now, guys, if I'm an interviewer, would I want to sit in a room with the chick I just saw or would I want to sit in a room with this young lady? If I'm an endorser, if I'm a company with deep pockets, I want to grow my brand. Would I invest in what I saw previously or would I invest in this? If I'm a company or an organization or how about this? The fucking WNBA. If I wanted to market something, would it be what I saw prior or would it be this? It would be very easy for me. It would be Caitlin Clark. Now, there are some outstanding sisters in the WNBA before everybody gets in their feelings. This doesn't apply to all of minorities in the WNBA. It doesn't. What I will say is that it is hard to convince people to get behind it when they see one bad representation of us. And that is going to always be in play. It is what it is. I'm included in this. You know how many guys muck stuff up for me and my opportunities because of the based off the stereotype? It is America. Unfortunately, this happens all over the world. Uh, and, and it happens a lot here. Let's just be honest. But this is what's marketable. This is why the league doesn't don't like this white button up caucasian young lady they can't stand it they just do not like it 
but it's just the flat out truth it's it's exactly what uh it's exactly why she has the 28 million dollar nike deal it's exactly why she's going to continue to be paid uh billboards everywhere because people can get behind this young lady i mean she just is well spoken she's humble her energy she's chippy on the court she's an all-around brand for any body any company this is pure gold and unfortunately man uh you know women and sisters with these attitudes man they 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 think that the world is supposed to 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 condone that shit they think that the world is supposed to just move out of the way and let that ignorance be you know okay or passable because it's a sister but you have people like me who just don't agree with that and that's okay you might got some people out there who watch this video and say that chick didn't do nothing wrong but i will ask you this if this was your daughter if this was someone that your son wanted to date okay if you are a button up person i gotta say button up because some people gonna condone that shit if you are a button up person would you want your son to come through the house with a woman like that who's disrespectful would you want somebody taking advantage of your son right with an attitude like that i don't think you guys would but most people don't think of it like that because they just want to automatically jump from oh well, i gotta support this because she's black man that's just complete ignorance and most people who think like that stay where they are in life and they do not get ahead it's just what it is guys and unfortunately that's going to be um that way for a very long time if not forever so i just want to bring this video to you guys to show you the difference between caitlin clark being marketable in the WNBA versus what we just saw guys i don't even know the chick name drop it in the comment section if you guys know i don't know uh once again maybe she's cleaned up her behavior this could be an old video i don't know but i wanted to show you guys this because this type of stuff uh, uh it affects my community deeply right and i just wanted to display this guys because whether or not i show y'all this video or not there are a lot of people who think the way i think there are a lot of people who have the views that i have and there are some people who disagree nonetheless drop your comments in the comment section and let me know how you guys feel thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel see you guys next time peace yeah